Okay, so the video I made yesterday, which I posted today, turn off the metronome because it's on the same frequency as the phone, um, was about small muscle control, um, playing soft, and how that compares to um, doing slow muscle work where you're focusing and isolating on a muscle and I got locked into the uh, the bicep curl because uh, once I get an analogy going I'll kind of go with it um, so why um, focusing why are we fo why am I focusing on all of this control and playing soft well because for the past hundred years or so we've been the the flute school has been going towards um, a tendency to play relaxed. So we're trying to get this strength back that we had when we were playing on wooden instruments that you had to be strong here for. So we're trying to get some of that back because that's beneficial. And playing softly. Now, playing softly, okay, so there's this... Um, ideological, it's not real, there's not physical, you don't go and pay tuitions, but there's ideologically, there's two flute schools. There's the American flute school and then there's the French flute school. Uh, the American flute school is uh, all about power, big sounds, fast playing, uh, bravura, and the French flute school is about um, finesse, nuance, uh, tone colors, um, playing beautifully. Now that's not to say that the American flute school is ugly playing and the French flute school has no power. These are gross overgeneralizations. So I, I came up with a visual. Um, so the French flute school is kind of like the rock, you know, big muscular dude you know, weightlifters, and the, that's the American school. Did I say that's the American school? Um, and then the French school, which is more nuanced and finesse, still has power um, and goes for more beauty and, and all of that is kind of like your CrossFitter. Oh, look at that. Who is that? Um, so, yes, I'm being silly. Um... So we talk about taking pain off the walls. Now, a flute is never going to take the pain off the walls. An electric guitar will take the pain off the walls. You know, that's, you know, like the gold standard, you know. I want you to take the pain off the walls. Well, it's not going to happen. A guitar, an electric guitar will take the pain off the walls because you can plug it in, plug the amp in, turn it up to 11, spinal tap reference. I hope someone gets that. Turn it up to 11, hit the power cord, which is not what you plug into the wall, that's the power cord, which is usually an E, another bad joke, and bam, I mean, you fill up an entire arena, yeah, because you've got these stacks of um, amps. Flute's never going to do that. Um, drums, drum set. Drum set's pretty loud on its own and you know almost doesn't need amplification, but it does. There's a guy who practices right below me, and when he gets going, it actually vibrates me where I'm sitting. So, you know, drums, electric guitar can take the paint off the walls, drums can take the paint off the walls. Um, unamplified instruments, bass trombone, bass trombone can take the paint off the walls. I there was a guy who I went to school with. You could literally hear him from the street turning into the campus, you could hear him. You know, the brass instruments. Flute is never going to take the paint off the walls. But for the past hundred years, we've been trying to get this big, powerful, laser-like sound that will take paint off the walls. And it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So we've been trying to be the rock. And, you know, so we've been trying to get this big...
trying to get this big sound and we've neglected the or the or whatever the opening of afternoon of four is. We've neglected the soft pretty. Um, so we we want to be, I'm really getting crazy with this, we want to be him, but we need to be more him. I'm so silly. Um, so one of the exercises that I'm doing, so playing loud in the soft, loud in the soft, loud in the low register is hard and playing soft in the high register is hard. So this is um, one of the, another of the exercises I'm doing. It's just a variation of uh, a whole bunch of different arpeggios uh, going up chromatically from C. You, you run through the pattern on C, then C sharp D. Um, so, so this. <laughs> That's your power lifting. Here's my analogy. That's your power lifting, guys. Um, your big muscle dudes. And then. Is your, your crossfitters who still have power but have more flexibility and more function and they can do more this way whereas the power lifters really can only they can only just lift heavy things um, so American flute school French flute school have one more the rock and puppies let's see um, so there's no right or wrong. I mean, if you want to be a big muscle person, fine. If you want to be a Pilates person and have long, lean muscles uh, and dance, that's fine. If you want to be in the middle and CrossFit, you know, which, you know, in my mind, that's where CrossFit fits. That's, uh, you know, that's, you know, everything in moderation. And the same thing here. Um, uh, I'm trying to find a balance. I'm trying to get back from, you know, you start out and you're, you've got this small, weak baby sound and it has no color and no control. And then you get control and then you're like, oh, I've got control. So I'm going to go crazy um, and I'm going to lift all these weights. I'm going to get really big, I'm going to make my sound huge, and you completely forget everything in the middle and you lose all the finesse. So let's see if I can do it here. Got to find a good D. Where are you? Concept, uh, just on the sh shrieking twig. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of parallels, or at least I force them to be parallel. So, um, so I don't want to be the rock. I would love to be a ballet dancer, but that's not going to happen. So if I can get somewhere in between, you know, be a Sam-like CrossFitter, 
that's that's where I'm, I'm aiming to be, you know, somewhere between America and France, you know, so Canada, Canada, I'm trying to be Canada.